Hey internet! So in this time of social isolation and social distancing and quarantine, I have been spending a lot of time in my house and especially a lot of time exploring my bookshelves. Now I have been a lifelong reader. I do have quite a few books in my collection, but a lot of the time when I'm looking at my shelves it's me trying to pick what to read next. I do have quite a few books over here that I haven't read yet, but it's my mission to get through as many as I can. However, in these recent days, I do keep thinking about the books that have brought me so much joy, the ones that I keep even though I've already read them. And one of those books that fills a special place in my heart is Bloomability by Sharon Creech. Other than Harry Potter, which is a lifelong obsession of mine, this was my favorite book in junior high by far. I'm pretty sure I actually got it when I was still in elementary school in sixth grade from a scholastic book order. And it is the story of a girl named Dinny. Her full name is Domenica Santolina Dune. And she and her family move around a lot. Her dad is sort of a free spirit, a jack of all trades, and he doesn't see it as moving around. He sees it as always looking for the next opportunity. He's just a guy who can't really sit still. But all of that changes by the end of chapter one when Dinny, instead of living with her family, is sent to live with her aunt and uncle instead, her mother's sister and her husband. He has recently been appointed to be the principal at a school that's run by Americans in Switzerland. However, in Switzerland, they're in the part that they speak Italian, and really it's like cultural overload. Dinny, who is used to sort of being small and having to adapt, is totally not familiar with this idea of staying in one place for a whole school year. and making friends and being around them long enough to form these relationships. She has this opportunity to think about what is it that she wants and what is it are her interests. And this book I could completely identify with when I especially was in seventh grade myself. I was coming into my own and there were suddenly clubs and things I wanted to try and people that were new because we weren't in elementary school anymore, so just sort of trying to figure out where did I fit in, where did I belong, what were my interests, what did I think of things, and I can say without a doubt, in addition to my own Italian-American heritage, this is the book that made me want to travel to Europe, to learn to speak Italian, to eat gelato and pasta and see the sights and all of its glory, and sure enough, if you fast forward, or from my perspective now, rewind, in 2008 I did just that. I studied abroad in Verona, Italy for a summer and it was wonderful. So this book is Bloomability by Sharon Creech. If you are able to get your hands on a copy, bravo, because I'm pretty sure it's actually out of print. Uh, there might be e-copies still available, but if you can find it, really, it is this charming coming-of-age story that means the world to me all these many, many years later. So that's it for me for now. Take care. Bye.